Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshek. His name is Mike Brenner. It's March yeah, Madness. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, Wednesday, March 15th. And we are talking with Joe Gavassi from <laughs> winningsportsadvice.com, getting his always interesting, very insightful, usually profitable uh, thoughts on some of these uh, college basketball games that go tomorrow. Right now, we're going to talk about North Dakota and Arizona. And uh, wow. I, my, my first thought on this one was I was thinking maybe a shot with the over because North Dakota can score, yes. right? And uh, Arizona, you know, I don't think they're going to be able to stop team. Arizona inside either. So I, I did take a shot with the over. It has what gone is up. What sitting at, Pete? Well, now it's, it, it opened at 146. Now it's up to 147 half, 148. As far as the spread is concerned, 17. I'm sure Joe Gavazzi can give us uh, some good advice here. To me, at first glance, it seems coin flippy. Obviously, Arizona is awesome. The back door could be wide open. The spread seems coin flippy to me. What I, do you yeah, think, The Mike spread, Green? for sure, it's not even coin flippy. It's get the hell away. Mm -hmm. All right, Sean Miller, this is a different team this year, Pete. And back door, or it might even be something where this team fights for their life. Mm -hmm. They can score. I like the over. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if it was an 85 70 type of game. Right. I really could see that. That would be the only angle I would go because Sean Miller's even said it. This is a, a different team than he's had years past going into the tournaments. So with that being said, I got to stay the hell off of it, Pistol Pete, but I am dying to hear what Jumpin' Joe's got to right. say. Joe Gavazzi, I do kind of like the over in this one. Uh, what's your take on this game? I do agree with that overplay mm -hmm. because the North Dakota Fighting Hawks, yeah, they do have a nickname this year, as a team that will go 94 feet with Arizona. And that's the problem I have with my opinion on North Dakota in this game. Now, they qualified for this after getting the number one seed in the big sky, then blowing a double-digit lead over Weber, but coming back to win in overtime to get this matchup against Arizona. Every year, there are letdown spots for top seeds in the NCAA tournament. And I think this year, Arizona is just about in the largest letdown spot of any team on the board. Arizona comes off a CCT Pac-12 win in which they won back-to-back -back revenge games against top five teams, mm -hmm. UCLA and Oregon, to capture the title. With much bigger fish to fry ahead, I think this might be a spot for a letdown for Sean Miller and troops. Remember, this spot did very poorly, I believe, 1-8 and eight against the spread as a home favorite in Pac-12 play. So there's little precedence for blowout victories here by Arizona. I love Arizona. They're going up speed more a little bit with this lineup they have with three air back especially and i think this is the best arizona contingent in a couple of years for sean miller and i wouldn't be surprised if they also made a deep run into this yeah. tournament game one however looks like a true letdown spot here and north dakota may do no worse than come through the back door my preference in this game the north dakota fighting hawks all right, plus 17. I'll tell you what, a uh, great, great yeah. breakdown. I'm not going to no, bet that, but it I'm going to stick and my overbet. I want this bet. to be yeah. known because after they did finish that, win that tournament after finishing off UCLA and Oregon, all right, Sean Miller said it. He said this is a different type of team going into this, and it may be one of the more contingent and, and, and solid, but there's something chemistry-wise where they're not getting those big covers. And I know that team itself doesn't give a shit about an ATS yeah. unless they're sliding money somewhere, but the bottom line is I see it, and I think this could be a letdown situation as well. I like that breakdown. All Joe. right. Interesting analysis. Joe Gavazzi's website is winningsportsadvice.com. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that, Joe. We're up there every day with sporting news that you can use, including selections as well as articles I've written, a bio, and, of course, my money management system, an essential part of your handicapping day each and every day. Good luck out there, guys. We'll All talk right. to you real soon. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Have a great day. Thank you, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, don't miss out on the best basketball betting content available on YouTube. Click our logo button on the bottom left to subscribe. And as always, guys, give us a like and drop your comments below because we want to hear from you. Visit our website to take advantage of all our free products.